These are seven Cheltenham Festival bets that beat the bookies for thousands of pounds. Don't you just love to see it? I do. So recent years have seen some seriously big money wins, including one for Nicky Henderson's stable boy that became an overnight millionaire. So from smallest to largest, let's take a look because number one on the list has done well out of making stupid decisions. I'm talking about Georgina Tuffalo, known for starring in the reality TV show Made in Chelsea and winning I'm a Celebrity in 2017. Oh, and of course, placing a 5,000 pound reverse forecast on day one of the Cheltenham Festival, like you do. But beginner's luck landed her a £37,500 winner on the first day. Ideal, given the price of a pint. Now, Toff, as she's known, took to Twitter to show off her ridiculous bet, adding that she was sharing a generous donation to charities, the British Red Cross and the Disasters Emergency Committee. Not a bad way to start day one if you've got money to burn. Although bet number two was a little bit more savvy when a Warwick-based punter had one of the best Tuesdays at Cheltenham ever, where he managed to pick all seven winners across multiple different bets. He only staked a total of £5.50, where he backed Mary's Rock at 11 to 1, Corrich Rambler at 10 to 1, Brazil at 15 to 2, Constitution Hill at 9 to 4, Edward Stone at 11 to 4, Statler at 5 to 2, and Honeysuckle at odds on of 8 to 11. A seriously ambitious punt that landed £60,000 profit in total. Skybet congratulated the lucky punter and paid him out, which makes a change. God knows how many bank statements and ID checks they did before they gave the money over on that one. But the next bet on my list was a real cracker from a tiny stake because David Jackson managed to pull off every better's dream when he took Bet365 with a very long odds accumulator. He picked four horses to win at 14 to 1, 16 to 1 and 2 at 20 to 1. Now horse racing fans might recognise some of the names in this epic £1 each way fourfold. He was quick to get good odds on both Galvin and Quilius at odds of 20 to 1 who shortened up to odds of 7 to 2 and 2 to 1 by the time the race started. He also had Sir Gerard where he got 16 to 1 instead of the 85 to 40 starting price. Now after three of these were in the bag, all he needed was Manila Indu at 14 to one to secure a six figure payday. Before the Gold Cup started, Jackson tweeted that he wasn't gonna cash out, although he might place an in running lay at a price of 1.1 or 1.2 if it was a tight finish, but he stuck to his guns and luckily for him, Manila Indu managed to edge a victory over a plus tar, bagging him 112 grand from a lowly two pound stake. I can only imagine how he felt watching that last race. Would you have cashed out? Let me know in the comments down below. But this wasn't the biggest small stakes winner of the week where bet number four was far better. We're getting into some proper tasty numbers now because in the same week, a staggering five horse accumulator came in, registering a colossal win from a tiny five pound stake. But the crazy part is the winnings would have been double if this punter hadn't chosen to partially cash out at terrible odds and the horses went on to win. He had four winners going into the final day including Golden Horde at 12 to 1, Hello Yumzane at 10 to 1, Bob Ollinger a huge 25 to 1. The punter said that he was so confident that Bob Ollinger would win that he bought an expensive bottle of Bollinger champagne in advance before watching his horse pick up a victory. Allegedly, his friends named him the Iceman because he was so calm when watching them romp home. Although he couldn't have been totally confident as he partially cashed out on the fourth leg, banking 250,000 pounds minimum. It was the right thing to do though, as his final selection, Envoli Allen, fell in running. If the horse had gone on to win, he would have banked a total of 312,000 pounds. Now the original fivefold was set to return 511,000 pounds. So again, would you have cashed out on that one? Despite the bad value, it must have been tempting. The fifth winning gamble was a remarkable win given the circumstances though, because this lucky punter didn't even select the winner. I know, confusion, right? All he did was put a two pound bet on at Cheltenham Racecourse via the place pot. What's a place pot, some of you are probably wondering? Well, it works similar to the lottery. Betters pick their horses and put their money into a cumulative prize pool. Then anyone with a winning ticket takes a percentage of the share from the pot. The place pot, as the name suggests, includes horses that play. Place. Depending on the number of horses in the race, there can be anywhere between two and four places. The more people in the place pot, the bigger the shared winnings will be. 
this punter didn't even realise until the second last that he was still in with a winning chance. His friend pointed out that all the other horses had actually placed before the two approached the betting counter. When he went to the betting counter, the lady serving was astonished. Her face dropped to discreetly reveal how much the final runners could have won him. Going into day four, only 4% of play spot tickets were still active after some huge outsiders causing upsets. The pair watched the final races on the edge of their seat before the Goliath total of £180,000 was confirmed as his. A 20 to 1 and 80 to 1 underdog landed the spoils at long odds in the final two races. A great win that will inspire many people to play the pool each year at Cheltenham, no doubt. Now we're in the home straight here and we're about to jump it up a gear with winnings that stung the bookies. Nowadays, footballers may make £900,000 for a couple of weeks' work, if you can even call it work, but when former Arsenal midfielder Phil Williams was playing in the 80s, throughout his whole career, his total transfer fees, let alone his wages, didn't total 900 grand. But back in 2012, his eight-year-old horse, Son of a Flicker, was priced at 66 to one. Some of you may remember it. The trainer put out a word that there was a significant improvement in him. So Phil decided to lump on a ludicrous odds. But what made this winner even sweeter was that it won by a thump in three and a half lengths blowing previous form out of the water. Williams said that he could now die a happy man because coupled with the winning prestige of a Coral Cup, a gruelling 28 horse race, he had also won the bet of a lifetime, unloading the bookies for a cool £900,000 in the process. But we have to stop here for bet number seven because a remarkable rags to riches tale that dreams are made of occurred. Connor Murphy from Cork managed to live all of our dreams when he landed the biggest ever Cheltenham Festival bet. This legendary fivefold included horses that he knew intimately as a stable boy for Nicky Henderson. Maybe it's where his confidence came from when he forked out 50 pounds for the bet. A bold move considering he said himself, when you make a bet like that, you don't expect any return. The five horses that he chose were Sprinter Sacra, Simon Sig, Bobsworth, Finham's Rainbow and Riverside Theatre. Combined, they stacked up to an enormous 64,000 to one bet. Now, I know what you're thinking here. 64,000 multiplied by 50 pounds is 3.2 million pounds. But there is a downside to this story because the news wasn't all good. You see, Betfair capped the winnings at one million pounds. He could have achieved exactly the same results with a stake of around about 15 quid, which is pretty unfair, right? Well, actually, all sports books have a maximum payout written into their terms and conditions. So if you're putting accumulators on over the Cheltenham Festival, be sure to check them out first. They certainly won't be telling you until after your bet has won. But this didn't bother Murphy because the winnings were spent on moving to America where he started his own stable named after one of the winners, Riverside Theatre. But there are far smarter and easier ways to make money from horse racing. So check out this advantage strategy explained in the end screen. The profits are wild. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.